Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. Wright State vs. Toledo Wright State is in a transition period with Clint Sargent stepping in as head coach after Scott Nagy's departure. Despite this change, Sargent has been with the program since 2016, so the transition is expected to be smooth. Wright State started the season with a tough loss to Kentucky, 103-62, but rebounded with back-to-back -back wins over Ohio Christian, 89-60, and Miami, Ohio, 81-68. Brandon Noel led the charge in the win over Miami, Ohio, scoring 27 points on 66.7% shooting. As an underdog in that game, the Raiders exceeded expectations and covered the spread. Ranked 184th in adjusted efficiency by Ken Palm, Wright State has shown resilience and the potential to keep things close against quality opponents. Toledo, on the other hand, is led by Todd Kowalczyk, now in his 15th season with the program. They've been dominant in the MAC winning four consecutive conference titles and aiming for a fifth. After a season-opening loss to Troy, 84-74, Toledo bounced back with a 90-80 win over Marshall, covering the spread in a road victory. Isaiah Adams led Toledo with 17 points, and the Rockets showcased their offensive prowess, shooting 52.5% from the field. Ranked 157th by Ken Palm, Toledo's strengths lie in their fast-paced offense, though their defense leaves room for improvement. Betting recommendations. Take Wright State plus 6.5. Despite a coaching change, Wright State has shown strong early season form, including a convincing win over Miami, Ohio. Their Ken Palm ranking is close to Toledo's, suggesting they can keep this competitive. Given Toledo's high tempo play and Wright State's resilient scoring, this line appears generous making the Raiders a solid pick to cover within two possessions. Take the over 164.5 points. Both teams favor a fast-paced style and are ranked in the top 107 for adjusted tempo. Toledo ranks 83rd in offensive efficiency but is weaker on defense, 286th. Similarly, Wright State has offensive strengths but defensive vulnerabilities, making this game likely to be high-scoring. Expect a back-and-forth shootout with both teams eager to rack up points. Richmond vs. Charlotte Both teams come into this matchup with 1-1 one -one records, each having had mixed performances so far. Richmond is expected to be mid-pack in the Atlantic, 10 this season, and while they started strong against Division II Mount Olive, they struggled in their recent game against Marist. The Spiders were unable to maintain a late lead, allowing Marist to pull away with a 9-0 run. Delaney Hunt has been a standout, averaging 22 points per game, but Richmond's turnovers and defensive lapses hurt them against Marist. Richmond will look to improve in this road game, particularly in ball control and perimeter defense. Charlotte was picked eighth in the AAC preseason poll, and despite starting with a win over Presbyterian, they stumbled against Utah State. The 49ers struggled with turnovers, giving up 17, and were overwhelmed defensively in the paint. However, they're back home for this game and will aim to rely on their experience, led by Robert Braswell Four and Giancarlo Rosado. Charlotte ranks among the slowest teams in adjusted tempo, 356th per Ken Palm, which will likely play into a more controlled and half-court style game. Their offense has shown flashes, but their ability to limit turnovers will be crucial. Betting recommendations. Take Charlotte minus four, the 49ers have the advantage of playing at home, where they'll be more comfortable and better positioned to utilize their experience against a Richmond team still finding its rhythm. Richmond's struggles with turnovers could give Charlotte the edge they need to cover the spread, especially if Braswell and Rosado continue their strong performances. Take the under 143.5 points. Both teams rank low in adjusted tempo, Charlotte at 356th and Richmond at 226th indicating a slower-paced, half-court battle. With both teams favoring deliberate offenses, expect a low-scoring game that keeps the total under 143.5 points. Ball State vs. Dayton The Ball State Cardinals, 
under coach Michael Lewis, come into this game with a 1-1 one -one record. While expectations aren't especially high for them this season, the Cardinals did manage a solid bounce back win over Franklin State after an opening loss to Georgia State. Led by Peyton Sparks, who's been efficient on both scoring and free throws, Ball State has struggled in offensive efficiency, ranked 236th with just 101.3 points per 100 possessions. Despite showing some defensive improvement in their last game, they still have a long way to go to contend with stronger programs. Dayton, on the other hand, is expected to be a top team in the Atlantic 10, coming off two wins, including a close game against Northwestern. Known for their top-tier defense, Dayton ranks 16th in adjusted defensive efficiency, holding opponents to only 61.5 points per game. Their deliberate, defensive style has them at 302nd in adjusted tempo, which favors low-scoring games. Offensively, Nate Santos has been a consistent scorer, and the Flyers have shown an ability to control the tempo and force turnovers, both of which will challenge Ball State's offense. Betting Recommendations Take Dayton minus 16.5. Dayton's strong defensive structure and controlled tempo make them well-suited to cover a sizable spread against Ball State. Through two games, the Flyers have demonstrated their ability to lock down opponents, allowing an average of just 61.5 points per game. Even more impressively, this defensive prowess extended to their recent win over Northwestern, a Big Ten team, where Dayton held them to just 66 points. Dayton's defense, currently ranked 16th in adjusted defensive efficiency, is a significant challenge for a Ball State offense that ranks a low 236th in adjusted offensive efficiency, managing just 101.3 points per 100 possessions. Ball State has also shown inconsistency in maintaining offensive momentum. Their 71-66 loss to Georgia State highlighted some of their offensive inefficiencies, and while they found some rhythm in a blowout win over Division III Franklin State, the game did little to suggest they'll fare well against a top-tier defensive team like Dayton. Dayton's disciplined approach, led by Nate Santos and a well-organized backcourt, should give them the ability to disrupt Ball State's rhythm, creating turnovers and limiting high-quality shot attempts. With Dayton playing at home, their ability to control the pace and keep Ball State under pressure throughout makes them well-positioned to cover this spread comfortably take the under 142.5 points. A key factor supporting the under is the pace of play both teams employ. Dayton ranks 302nd in adjusted tempo, while Ball State sits at 249th, meaning both teams favor a slower, more methodical style of play. Dayton's commitment to a slow pace reflects coach Anthony Grant's focus on defensive precision and minimizing possessions, which typically keeps scoring low in their games. This style makes it challenging for their opponents to score, and it's no surprise that Dayton games often feature low point totals, as the Flyers aim to wear down opponents rather than engage in high-paced shootouts. Ball State's scoring capabilities also indicate an advantage for the under. Although they put up 87 points against a lower-level team in Franklin State, their 66-point output against Georgia State better reflects the offensive struggles they may face against a disciplined defense like Dayton's. Ball State's lack of an explosive offense, combined with Dayton's strong defense, further underscores the likelihood of a low-scoring game. Dayton's defensive efficiency, 94.5 points per 100 possessions, and Ball State's inability to maintain a steady offensive rhythm against tougher opponents suggest that a combined total near the 142.5 mark is unlikely. Final prediction. Expect Dayton to control the game covering the minus 16.5 spread and keeping Ball State's scoring low. With both teams playing at a slow pace and Dayton's defense likely limiting Ball State's opportunities, the under on 142.5 points is a confident pick.